the craziness that went on last weekend at the Donald Trump rally. Um, as everyone knows in the whole United States and the world, he was uh, there was an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. And um, luckily for ev- well, luckily for him, he was not too badly hurt. I mean, right. he was shot, but he wasn't too badly right. hurt. I just wanted to say, you know, there's obviously no place in our country, in our world for such violence. And, you know, I feel really bad for the gentleman who did pass away. So I hope his family is doing OK. Um, if any of you have his GoFundMe account, like, please send it my way because I'd love to support him. Um, so mm. something I wanted to t- also talk about is that he, um, former President Donald Trump, did not miss a beat. Of course, he um, has accepted the nomination for the Republican Party this week. And then also he is selling more sneakers. OK, so yeah. he's selling um, assassination sneakers, actually. Assassination sneakers. Yes. So they are selling for two ninety nine. dollars uh, And then I just oh went my on. Goodness. I just went on his website and there's this guy. He's also selling boots for, I think, one ninety nine or ninety nine or something, something like that. <laughs> so he's like not letting this opportunity fly he is by. He's not letting it pass. This no, it's not. No, wow. It's not. So okay. So the boots are one ninety nine, and you said this assassination sneakers are two ninety nine. Are these the shoes like that he wore when he was being shot no, at, those, or they just? I'm totally... sure we'll go for thousands and thousands I'm sure. of dollars. Okay. That's but, crazy. Um. Yeah, he is selling them, and it's it's kind of funny because on the sneakers they have the fight, fight, fight. You know, quote oh that he had said goodness. that day. And there's also the picture of him with his fist in the air on the sneakers as well. So, I mean, I'm, you guys should just go check it out to see what I'm talking about. I'm, you know, obviously we are not sponsored by Donald Trump or his sneaker company, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys yeah, know. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. So, do we think uh, Fat Joe's going to be getting these sneakers? Remember last time? Remember last time he got some and everyone got real mad about it? He might. Fat Joe is a sneaker collector. He has a lot of sneakers. If he got the last ones, I wouldn't be surprised if he got these. Um, Are these also gold? These are, no, they're high tops and they're black. And again, they have like Donald's face on it with the... Oh, the, so fist, he, the fist in the air. He the went that route. Fi- picture, the famous the fist picture, in the air. Oh, yeah. And he got the little blood on the side of his eye or mm-hmm, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Yeah, you know, one thing I will say about that is um, I know here we don't condone violence. We don't want violence on anyone. And what happened on that day, we definitely don't want to see anyone killed or hurt in that situation. That's not any way that we want to see this country going in in a direction of violence. We're all about peace here. And we want whoever those candidates are to do everything that they do in peace and whoever wins is whoever wins you know um but we don't want to see violence come about a situation where someone's trying to run for a presidency and someone tries to take them out mm-hmm. on in a violent attack no mm-hmm. one wants to see anything like that happen I'm, I'm glad he's okay and um you know that's you know an unfortunate situation and um you know they did catch the person correct he he died that he, day he died that and day. i wanted to clarify earlier when i said that the, the um, person who died sent me the gofundme i'm talking about the i think he was like a doctor or a dentist or something he was in the audience and the um the assassin you know shot him when he was trying to shoot donald trump so that's who i was talking about i know he has a uh, family and i'm sure that they're like traumatized and shocked so you know there's a lot of bad that came out of it but the country's still strong and we're you know, we'll see what happens this election because it's going to be it's going to be more crazy. Like it's going to get crazy. It's already crazy. Like I right. can't imagine a couple more months what else is going to happen. So I just hope everyone is safe out there. No, for sure. Um, it, It's a really important time for this country. And um, November, it's almost here. Right. I mean, we got a couple of months more. Um, So, you know, everyone go out there. Definitely go out there and vote if it's going to be your first time. And you know, you need help on how to vote, you know, go to vote.org, look at all the steps to to doing the process of voting. It's very important to vote in this country. Um, so definitely exercise your right to vote. Even if you've never done it before, you don't know how to do it. Go to vote.org. Make sure you, you go ahead and you exercise your, your opportunity and your time to do that because we all have that right in this country and we should do it. 
Um, but no, very, very interesting. Oh. I find that very, I don't know. I got a question about that, Missy. Uh, okay. If you just went through a possible assassination, yeah, would you actually think to go, let me make some money off of this. Let's come out with some sneakers a, and boots. He is a businessman. I see. He's a businessman. <laughs> of course, he's going to do that right away. I mean, he saw opportunity and he took it. Like, okay, so this was what? This was less than a week ago, wasn't it? Or was I, it a week it ago? It was actually a week ago because when we did the show last week, it hadn't happened yet. So it was a week ago. So today. I guess my question to both of you guys is, were these sneakers already in the works? And then with this, they just were like, oh, let's throw his face on it with the fist. And like, let's make it the assassination no, shoes. Or like they already were like, oh, after this happened, yo, let, we got to put some sneakers out. We got to put something out. I think that's what it is. I think that his team probably wow. worked, you know, 24 hours a day. His team works fast. Yeah, they work really fast. Goodness, so, man. Uh, um, I mean, if I see anybody in the voting lines um, wearing those sneakers, I know who they're voting for. That's all I got to right? say. That's all I got to say. <laughs> right. I mean, what if, what if you see someone on there and they, they stick a, a Biden's face on it or somebody else's face on there, like Kanye they or something? Be, they be trolling, <laughs> but then also it's like, dang, you spent $300 to like tr to support him. Like, even though you don't think you're supporting him, like you're giving him your money. Right. And the, just to troll, like, I don't know if it really works that way. Like, <laughs> So a, a little off topic, but this is kind of on the topic. What did you all think about 50 Cent having a show out in Boston and he the day had the, of, I think it was. Was it the day of? It was the, the night. I it think was, it was, was either it? the night of oh, or the next night. Check that out. So, for some of you all that don't know, Fifty Cent is still out there in these streets doing shows and performing. He still looks like he's fresh out of the gym. I mean, he uh -huh. makes me want to go to the gym whenever I see him. Shout out to Fifty Cent. Has this show in Boston? You know, my my home, good old Massachusetts. Has an album cover in the background of his Get Rich or Die Trying, and instead of his face, he has Donald Trump's face. I loved it. And he's performing. I loved it, actually. I thought it was the funniest thing ever, especially because it was the Many Men. Yes, Many Men. Many Men. Mm -hmm, song when he was doing it. So funny. And to piggyback off of that, when Donald Trump um, walked into the Republican convention, he walked to that song. Get out. He and, walked to that song, and, you guys. And you know what's so crazy about it? The producer, Six Figure Digger, who did that song, Many Men, I follow him on Instagram. And since that happened, there's been over so many streams on that song. Like, he's been j making jokes about, man, I'm getting checks. You yeah. know, thank you, 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's actually really funny that he, he I'm all dang, like Donald Trump's really trying to get like a right whole new now. audience by, by walking into <laughs> many men. I many mean, men. that's not really like the Republican way, I feel like. But OK, cool. that is hilarious. I mean, I thought the song of it, the song of all songs right now is not like us. But, you know, that's a whole nother. It came back 20 years later. <laughs> it many, came men. Back to, many men came back 20 years later. I mean, not like us. I mean, has legs of its own. You right know, now. OK. Now, piggybacking also on onto this, they had the Republican convention, right? right? So we, I just said that Trump is obviously trying to like broaden his, you know, voters that vote for him. Did you notice how many celebrities like and influencers went to go and speak of him like on the podium? I did. I saw Amber Rose. Amber Rose was there. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Did you see Hulk Hogan tear a shirt? Yes. <laughs> I was like, this is this guy. <laughs> um, Jason Aldean, the country singer, was there. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of who. There was like a ton of different celebrities going there to talk. Oh, Brink, uh, Chrissy Brinkley, I think, or the daughter Got it. I think Chris, Chris, Christy Chris, Brinkley. Christy's in jail. I'm so sorry, you guys. Oh, but the daughter no. came out to speak about it. I didn't so, know mama's in jail. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, mama. Some kind of like tax evasion or what something. What you doing, mama? I know. I did see. Well, she's not really a celebrity, but this is his better half. Kind of gave him a little swerve on the kiss. What was that all about? You know what? When your wifey don't even want to give you a kiss, that's not a good look. This is what I'll say. It reminded me of when Rihanna swerved Drake when he yeah. tried to kiss her on <laughs> air, on stage. So it reminded me of that, to be honest. So sometimes you just don't want to mess up your makeup, maybe. I don't know. As a guy, and I mean, Luminary Community, you guys can hit us up on Instagram, both myself and Missy Talks. But for me... As a man, if you are in love with a lady and that's your wife and you go and give her a hug and a kiss and she looked like, boy, what you doing? And she kind of turns like, I don't know, like, what's that going home night ride like? Are you um, like, 
I mean, I kind of feel like they're already in a situation where she's like, look, I'm here for the money. Like, I've been here for the money for some years now. Like, y'all know what it is. But don't on TV, though. Like, I don't know. Would you guys at the do convention at too, the convention where he's, where he's accepting the nomination right. for the Republican candidate? Would you guys ever swerve your partner like in public on t- national TV like that? I mean, hopefully not on purpose. <laughs> hopefully. I mean, also, it's kind of did I just get my makeup done? Are you going to like I just have oh, lipstick on. Oh, so do that's you, what it is. The makeup and the lipstick. That's the maybe, excuse you going with. Maybe. She, that's maybe, what you go. Maybe with. she didn't want him like up there with lipstick on his mouth. I don't know. Maybe she was looking out for him. I don't know. Cause it was like it was like a double swerve. Like I don't know if y'all I caught know, it. Like I did she, catch he it. went with the he went tried to go in for the kiss, and she was like, "Nah, bro." And then he tried to go in for like this like weird hug type thing where he tried to like hug and yeah. put his face, and she was like, "Nah, nah." Like it was like a triple. It was it was all bad. But what I will all say, bad. what I will say is that she looked beautiful. She did, and that's she the was mo- styling. That's the most I've ever seen her smile. Walking you know, you got a point. This is the most I've ever seen her smile. You got a point. That's the most I've ever seen her smile, too. I don't even, you know, it's so sad. I haven't seen her that much, and I actually even forgot what she looked like until that night. She's beautiful. <laughs> she is. She's a beautiful lady. I know they have, how many kids do they, they have? They have one together. They have one together. Yeah, he has several other children, but they have one together. And there you go. But, yeah, you know, um, definitely go out there, everybody. Um, Make sure you get out there and vote. You know, it's only july right now you got some time but if you haven't started the process do your research do your research yes get started on that process now we're going to get into some more music this is an 